All right, now we kind of got the frame built. We just need to measure these so we can build our two drawers to go in here. So get those measurements and get those built. So I forgot to subtract the width of the, the width of the sliders from the width of this. So I've got some sliders in here. I think it's a, it's a half or a three quarter. Maybe it's a full inch. Anyway, I'll find them, measure them, and then get these little down to the right. So we got a small problem. I got 24 inch slides. And so when I did the bottom drawer, I didn't do a solid board across the back. I just did one at the top. So the slider was underneath it and it could go all the way back. So this is 24 inches from this wall to the front edge. So this one, I think I'm just going to cut, drill a notch back here so I can stick the tail end of that in there. I think that's going to be the best option i could probably i don't know if these would cut properly if i did cut them and probably mess them up so i'm just going to drill make holes back there to slide them in a little bit jerry-rigged but it should accomplish what i need so i don't have to get different slides or change anything else so i think that's the easiest way to remedy it Well, might not be how I'd normally recommend doing it, but it works. Nobody's gonna see it. it's gonna be back behind the drawer. So I'll do the same thing over on this side and problem resolved.
Well, I just impressed myself. That might be one of the best first attempt fitments on a drawer I've ever had. We'll see, but I think I've got enough clearance on the top for when the top piece goes on for it not to rub, so. Won't happen again, once in a lifetime. All right, one more drawer to go. Alrighty, looking good in the neighborhood. Perfect, that one came out pretty good. It's not quite as perfect, so we'll get a plywood piece cut to go on the top and uh, see where everything's lining up. Looking good though, look at that, coming together. Alrighty, it's done. Top's on. All the drawers are functional. I gotta put handles on them, but this is, I'm gonna put faces on all this so it'll look a lot better once it's completely done. And then I'll put handles on those. They'll be like a recessed handle. They're just hard to get with one hand since I don't have handles on that. Anyway. <laughs> come on, come on. There we go. These are the spring-loaded um, closers. So right there, they catch and kind of automatically close it from that point so you can't slam them real hard. But there we go. It's looking, looking like something. So that's all I got for today. Next time, we'll probably keep working on the kitchen, building it up. We still got to come up. The fridge comes up to about here, so we'll have some storage above it and then a wall over and then this will all be more storage space of one flavor or another. But uh, that's all I got for today. So thanks for watching. Come back next time. If you haven't seen the rest of the videos on the build, go check them out. Uh, subscribe, like, all that stuff if you want. Uh, if you hit the little bell thing, it'll give you a notification or it's supposed to give you a notification anytime we post a new video. But uh yeah, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.